Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. When I quarrel with my husband, he didn't even try to cool me out. It takes two to make a quarrel and it takes two to mend fences. I was so angry that I could not keep cool. What I need is just an apology. And lightweight, too. It'll play for 20 hours on two AA batteries. Cool. The sound is great. These earphones are awesome. And they're really safe. They'll protect your ear from sound damage. You certainly need that. You always pump the volume up way too high. I know. And you can also hear outside noises while you listen to music. You're right. So I can listen to music while riding my motorbike. What's the problem? Things are getting out of hand. You keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. What do you mean? Now, I am responsible for training new staff, but you keep overriding my authority by trying to pose your methods. I know you are a hotshot college graduate with something to prove. But I don't like your way. Where will you go in your vacation? Oh, I'm hoping to take courses in my vacation. You're so industrious. That woman is a thorough drag. What is it? She keeps spitting on the ground. Maybe there's something wrong with her. I'm sick of my job. I always have to work late at night, and the company keeps me working in the office. Why don't you find a new career where you can do what you enjoy? Being outside working during the day. What do you suggest? I can't afford to quit my job until I get a new one. Maybe you have two choices. You could attend school during the day, or you could get a position that provides training. Excuse me, Supin. I hope nothing is wrong. Please forgive me, but I have to leave. I feel terrible, but. What's the matter? My daughter isn't feeling well. Oh, no. Is it serious? I don't know. Will you forgive me? Of course. I'm sorry for your daughter. Thank you. It's our first date. I hope it's not too offensive. Not at all. I am so sorry that I must be off now. My girlfriend told me I must arrive at her home in 10 minutes or she will break up with me. She can cope with it. Don't be such a wimp. Are you all right, Ethan? You don't seem to be as cheerful as you normally are. To be honest, Ava, I've just had a really bad day. What happened? First, I slept through my alarm and ended up two hours late to work. What did your boss say? He told me that if I showed up late one more time, he'd fire me. He's so mean. That's horrible. Was that the first time you'd shown up late to work? That was my second time. The first time, I was in a car accident. Is your boss Chinese? No, he's from Australia. Before I met him, I thought Australians were supposed to be relaxed and easygoing. I had no idea he'd be so fussy about things. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to look for another job. I need to find a boss that is a bit more sensitive and optimistic than my current boss.
That sounds like a sensible plan. Do you want me to help you with your job search? That's very generous of you. Thanks for the offer. Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. Peter is a bag lady now. That black sheep. It serves him right. He was so rich in the past. Maybe he's regretting his past mistakes now. It's too late. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.